What's up everybody, this is Jack from Crypto49er, bringing you my knowledge in cryptocurrency. So today I want to talk about installing a Gecko trading bot using Docker. So what is Docker? Docker is a, it's a containerization process, so that way you can package the whole entire um, software, whatever you're using, into one container, as they call it. And you can just move these containers, like you can think of these containers in cargo ships where like you just move one container from one dock to another so on and so forth and then um, in this case though these containers that you're moving from they're moving into either these virtual machines or your physical machine or cloud computing wherever you want to place these docker containers in that way you have all the software that you need with all the res all the libraries everything already inside the container ready to go without having to install over and over and over again on these different machines it makes the process a lot faster in terms of how you want to um, move these applications across different uh, machines or different uh, different configurations of these different machines. With Gecko, you already have the Docker file created, so it's very simple. When I play around with this the other day, I was like, "Wow, that was it! <laughs> that was way too easy. I didn't, I couldn't believe it was that easy." It actually is, I have to say, probably easier to use to install Gecko using Docker than probably on Windows or Windows 10 or, or even a Mac, things like that, just because there's more steps involved. In addition, for Windows users, I mean, I can't say for sure because I'm only tested it on the Mac in terms of Docker, but if you're using Docker on Windows, you will probably be able to virtualize the process and be able to install those things that you can't install Windows, like um, the Tulip indicators and the uh, and the Talib indicators, those two that are those two indicators you can't install without installing Bash on Windows 10. So, but if you have Docker installed already on Windows, you probably should be able to install them just using this process, and you wouldn't have to install them separately. And I'll explain that in a bit. So, literally, what I first did was I just went to Docker Docker.com and just say get Docker and download from store and download the Docker Community Edition. Once I download it, install it, on the Mac version you have to initialize in a sense where it runs and it creates a virtualization instance and then from that point on you're ready to go. So it'll tell you to restart terminal if you have terminal open so that you will be able to access the command lines that you need. So in this case you just really need Docker Compose. That is the main thing you have, the main thing you need access to. So and pretty much once I did that I opened terminal again I say Docker Compose build literally inside the inside the Gecko directory as instructed by Axmike's instructions right here for Gecko installation using Docker, and it just ran through the process of pulling all the necessary files needed to build the Gecko image for Docker. So after it's finished, you might and the thing is you might see some warning messages like here npm warning during the installation process. From my experience, those warning messages didn't cause any issues at all. So you can ignore them uh, pretty much, so then this works. So after the installation process is done, it takes about like 5-10 minutes depending on how fast your computer is. So after it's done, all you have to do is run the next step, docker-compose-up-d. That's it. <laughs> I was surprised, but like, that's it? That's all it took? That was really too easy. Because once you run that, your Gecko is running already. So you will be able to access your Gecko instance as the instruction says here, localhost colon 3000 on your computer. So even though on the terminal itself, it's like unlike actual installation process for Windows or for the Mac, for example, we actually see it running in, the, in here in the, command, in, the, in the terminal or in the command line. You don't see it running because actually it's running inside Docker. So you won't see it running at all, but it's actually running. What you can do to check if it's running or not is you just type docker space ps and it will load up all the containers that's running right now. So what it is, it has gecko running and has a redis running. Redis, from what I can tell, is actually what is loaded to access the UI portion. So you need to, it needs to load both redis and also um, the, ge the gecko container itself. So those two has to be running in order for you to access gecko via the UI. So literally, even though not, there's nothing running on terminal, if you open a web page and you go type in localhost colon 3000, you'll see that Gecko is actually running and that's what I did. I was like, wow, okay, that's a little different. 
So in this case, even though Gecko is not running on my machine and say it is running inside a virtual machine inside Docker, that's essentially what's going on in here. And I'm able to communicate with the virtual machine through the port 3000 that's been exposed and I'm able to access that virtual machine that way on the web page. And that's how I'm able to access the UI. So now, that's great and all you say, but how do I access the command line? So here's how you access the command line. You use the docker exec dash dash help function to give you an understanding of what to do. Because you really need to use exec function to access the command line for a gecko. So what you do is you would type in docker exec. You would then run gecko like you normally do. Any command line function that you normally run in order to get gecko started, you just need to prepend or add in front of it docker space exec. And that's it. So in this case, I added docker space exec. It didn't work. I was like, oh wait, no such container. No. Then I'm thinking, oh wait, hold on. Let me go back to docker ps. And I have to go and see what's the name of the gecko image or the container that I have for gecko. So the name for the gecko container is gecko underscore gecko underscore one. So what you need to do is prepend any command you, you use to call gecko with docker exec gecko underscore gecko underscore one in order to work. And I just tried a paper trader and it just worked. I was like, wow, it's loading. <laughs> it's just that simple. I'm like, that's, <laughs> it was very surprising for me. And I just, it was so easy to, it was so easy to set up. That's why I was just like surprised in terms of what it took to get Gecko up and running via Docker. And that's basically it in terms of what you need to do to get Gecko running on Docker. Just that simple. Now I know there are more things involved. If you want to, let's say, install more stuff with it, you can. I guess you would, now that you have access to Gecko in the container, you can install more packages to it, but what's the point of installing the packages separately, right? You want to install the packages within the Docker file itself. And that's what it comes back down to. So if you open a Docker file, you see there are different things that it's doing right here. It's pretty much all the installation process that if you installed Docker previously, you would understand, like installing the production version of Docker, actually installing uh, NPM first, and then clean the cache, and then um, install the dependencies. So after that, expose the port, and then it actually calls the um, entry point, which starts the UI process to run on Gecko. What you really need to do, and I haven't really played around with this yet, but in order to add the other packages that you want, let's say you want to add um, the backtest tool, or you want to add Japonicus, whatever it is, my understanding, and I haven't played with this yet again, you will actually have to add it during this installation process here. You add the lines in here, so automate the insta installation process for you into the Docker image building process. So when you build the image, it will follow those additional commands and be able to install any other additional packages that you want, and you'll be good to go that way. So that's my understanding. You guys should definitely try to play with it. At least try to get Docker installed and working on your computer if you want to play with Docker. So that's my video for today, guys. Tomorrow, I'll show you guys how to install Docker on Google Cloud. Also not as hard as it sounds. So <laughs> one of those things where it seems completely new to me, but then it is actually very easy to do. So I'll be showing you guys that tomorrow. Anyway, that's my video for today. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below. Like, subscribe, hit the bell icon for post notifications. If it isn't crypto, it isn't worth mining, it isn't worth speculating. Peace out.